Hey you guys, so starting the vlog, my aunt stopped by today and she uh, brought me this little set of chocolate covered strawberries for Mother's Day and it has chocolate covered pretzels in it. We are about to dig in. I am so grateful and thankful. I love chocolate covered strawberries. So this is gonna be such a fun treat. I'm actually gonna have probably a pretzel and a strawberry later with some wine. But I just thought I would share top of the vlog, y'all. It's the weekend, so we are vlogging. I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. So today is Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Um, I'm not dressed ready or anything. It's actually still fairly early. I'm getting ready to um, make the eggs. Like Clarence did the breakfast, but he was like, you do the eggs? I was like, that's fine. Um, and... Um, I got flowers this morning and I'm just sitting here with Cam about to give him some, some stuff to eat too. Yeah. Um, but no, we're not doing too much of anything right now. Caden's actually still sleeping. I did open some gifts. Um, and we're just chilling. I'm about to put my roses in water and finish breakfast. And then I'll probably come back with you guys when... I'm like officially ready for the day. Yes, our anniversary balloons are still in here. Um, but yeah, once I get my day going and started, I'll come back. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. More than likely, we're gonna visit my mom and then I'm gonna try to throw a haul in the video. What's up, you guys? Today is Mother's Day. I don't know why I always feel like I forget what day of the week it is or what it actually is, but <clears throat> Today's Mother's Day, today's Sunday. I'm getting ready to go check the mailbox real quick before I head to Kroger. That's where we're getting ready to go, me and you, you and me, girl, um, because I need to go pick up some crab legs. We are gonna go have like lunch with my mom and then we're gonna go visit Clarence's mom um, on our way home. Clarence's mom and dad are closer to us, but, ooh, is this Coco McQueen? Oh, never mind. It's probably some work shit. Um, so we figured on the way back home is when we would, um, oh, this is from my auntie Deborah, is when we would, um, go see his mom since she's closer to the house. So we're going to do that and then we'll head to my mom's. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Something flew in my eye. I think I'm gonna stop and get a Red Bull. I haven't been doing anything all day, y'all. I don't have, I want a crop top and some micro shorts. Um, just did my little skincare routine this morning, threw on some mascara, and pulled out one of my buxom lip glosses that I haven't worn my buxom glosses in a while. Um, and just been enjoying the day, honestly. No work, I didn't do any type of work. you guys so i am leaving kroger i got everything i intended to get so i'm excited about that um so basically now i just talked to my mom i'm gonna go over there and cook we're gonna sit over and eat and like i said i got a wine that clarence got me for mother's day um to go with my wine glass and so I'm a feast on that when I get back to, I don't even know if I'm going to work tomorrow. That's how tipsy I'm gonna be. <laughs> Let me get in this car, I'll hit y'all. All right, you guys. We just made it to my mama house. I got all the stuff, the food. There's plants and the kids back there. We're about to eat. Hey, ugly dog. Okay. Alright, y'all. So we finally made it in my mama house. Cleaning off crab legs. We about to have a seafood boil. And then 
I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like mussels, corn, shrimp, potatoes. And then it's more in that one. And then she's making some tea. You better be careful, girl. Hi, you guys. So, um, I know this is a different type of video. I only think I've done one or two videos like this in the past where I kind of merge a vlog and a haul together. But, girl, Mother's Day. As y'all can see, we chilled, we ate, we had a seafood boil, and then I came home and had some wine and I went to bed. So <laughs> I didn't get the opportunity to share the things that I got um, for our anniversary and for Mother's Day. So number one, let me take the time out to thank all of you who wished us well wishes for our anniversary. We truly, truly appreciate you guys. We had an amazing time. Um, if you hear noise in the background, that's the kids. Clarence, they're downstairs, they're all playing. Um, but we really appreciate it and that is from both me and Clarence because he kind of read the comments or I read them to him and um, we were both extremely thankful so we definitely appreciate your well wishes and congrats and happy anniversaries um, and then thank you all so much for the happy birthday happy birthday the happy Mother's Day um, wishes as well same to you all happy mother's day i was able to dm and speak with a lot of you all via instagram and i put out like a big happy mother's day um in my story so i appreciate you all immensely i love talking to y'all in the dms y'all know so thank you thank you thank you thank you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the things that clarence got me for our anniversary and then i'll kind of go into the mother's day thing so let's go ahead and get started oh and forgive my voice y'all i don't know what happened like two days ago <clears throat> i think it was pollen like i was outside and i just felt myself like going hoarse and i really think it's just like the pollen and all the ugh outside and now it's raining and it's cold so i just feel like the fluctuation in weather has kind of had my voice going in and out so my apologies, but let's jump in. First thing it. I got was from Clarence. It's this new Valentino scent. Lady Gaga is the face of this, and it's called Vos uh, Viva, I believe. Smells really good. Um, and I told y'all, I told Clarence not to get me anything, but he does what he does. He says, these are us gifts. That when I told him, I said, you're supposed to be getting gifts for like the us and not just me. He was like, well, these are us gifts to me, so... Here we go. Um, this is the bottle. This is a, let's see. Does it even tell you? It's a 3.4 fluid ounce of the perfume. This is a, a half ounce of the perfume. And then this is a 3.4 fluid ounce of the body lotion. I love little sets like this because I love the box the bottle looks like because i love like layering scents this smells like something i've smelled before and i keep trying to i don't have it on, on anything today so mm. but it's good i'll definitely be wearing it now mm. this smells good i i can't even describe it it does have some raspberry it reminds me a little bit of the burberry her just a tad bit i'm gonna have to wear it um to really give you guys a good review but off of first impression i really liked it. now out of the two fragrances that clarence got me i love this one this is ysl's libre or i've heard someone else call it lieb i think i don't know but it smells good sis oh y'all so it came with this cute little like um like a mini spray which i'm just gonna throw on my vanity super super cute the fragrance the actual bottle is so gorgeous y'all and of course i actually have some fragrance reviews coming up next week for the three spring fragrances that i added to my collection but you guys look at this bottle oh my goodness it's stunning okay stunning and the fragrance out of this world out of this world like this is one of my new favorite fragrances like he when he got this for me i put it on that day and i just couldn't stop like even my mom was like send me the name of that i need that because she came over that day 
she was like, I need that. And I was like, yes, girl, you do. So I sent her the link. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce, I believe. Or no, a three ounce uh, bottle, but I'm already loving it. Um, I will be wearing it. I definitely think it's year round. When I smelled it, I thought this is very year round, but love it. And I was really, really grateful to the get it. Last thing Clarence got for me was from MCM. I was really, really excited about this. Like y'all, y'all. When you see, you'll understand why I was so excited. So came with this little dust bag. It is the Continental Long Zip Wallet. You guys. So he got this because I have been saying that I wanted something to match my Liz tote. You guys know how much I love my Liz tote. A lot of y'all ask me, like, are you still carrying it? Do you still love it? The answer is absolutely yes. Um, and so I'm so glad that I finally got the matching wallet to it. And this is actually going to round out my wallet collection. Um, I feel like I now have all of the wallets I need. It has um, six card slots on this side, and then it has another six oops, card slots on this side. It's got a back pocket for cash. You've got a middle area here for coin. And this is the authentication card and care card and all that jazz inside. Um, I cannot wait to use my Liz tote and use this wallet. When I carry my tote, even I may even carry this in my Marc Jacobs tote, I have found that my small Patricia wallet is almost too small um, because I feel like it just rattles around and it, it's hard for me to get at it. In a tote, I need something that's a bit larger, and I've been looking at this for quite some time um, and was just trying to justify it, but I'm so glad he got this for me. So now I have a long, like, continental wallet. I have a small, compact wallet, and then I have, like, a downsized wallet card holder combo. All from MCM. I've really been loving their wallets. Um, I did look at some Louis Vuitton ones, but I don't know. MCM just always stills my heart so yeah got that All right. so moving on to mother's day gifts this came from the boys they got me this from zales and i was like this is, these are so so pretty you guys they are a pair of white sapphire studs and i love stud earrings so i was super grateful for these i actually also have the matching necklace that they either, I think it was last year, they got me that for Mother's Day. So these are the matching earrings to those. So I love, I will definitely be wearing these soon. I'm a stud earring girl. I've been into like the gold jewelry and stuff like that as of lately. Um, but they know sterling silver and white gold is like my zhuzh. So I was very grateful for these. Next up is Chanel. This came from my mom. Um, she just asked me, whoa. Honestly, she was just like, what do you want? And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna get you something from Chanel. And I was like, ooh, get me that hand cream. And she did. So um, she picked me up, well, had it sent to the house and it came with a little card. It just says, happy Mother's Day to my wonderful daughter, Roya, love you. I love your mama. And y'all know how Chanel's packaging is. And I got the number five low Chanel on hand cream and some samples. I've already um like opened the box and used a little bit of the lotion, sis, because this number one, it smells so good. If you like um the fragrance because I have the perfume of this already if you like the fragrance you're gonna love this tinker it smells exactly the same it's just like a little just like a little pick-me-up love it 
who doesn't want this in their handbag? Like, how cute is that? You know, when you order from Chanel, you always get two. I got this. It's the mascara base. Oh, hmm. that's nice. It's a pretty good size as well. So I'm going to throw this in my makeup bag um, so I can use that. And then I got the O Fresh fragrance sample, which y'all know how I feel about this fragrance. And this is actually right on time with this fragrance sample because we are set to go on vacation. Anytime I go on vacation, I like to load up these little Chanel bags with little samples so I don't have to bring full size bottles. The next item I received was also from my mom. Um, well, my mom and Clarence, because they just kind of went in and got me this and a bottle of wine. It's from Tiffany and Co. And this is the, y'all have already opened these things for Mother's Day, but that's the ribbon, the little card, if you need to return. And I got the all-purpose white wine glass. So you guys know I already have the red one. Um, and they got me a bottle of the butter, I think, is it buttercup cupcake Chardonnay, which is my favorite Chardonnay. Cupcake is my favorite Chardonnay. I'm not a big Chardonnay girl, but when I do, I like the cupcake brand. Oh, show this to you guys. Yeah. Boom. This one is definitely smaller. If you know wine, then you know your white wine glass is always going to be a little smaller um, than your red one because red wines need to breathe. They need the air. So the opening of your white wine glass is not going to be as big as the white. So I was so happy to get this white one because they have gone up in price on these and everything. So you can get your hands on them, especially now because they don't sell them like singly. So I don't even know how they got this. Um, typically, they probably called because I've told them, if you're going to get me anything and you're trying to get it like a single version of it, always call them because now they're selling everything in like sets. But I just love this. And it says, you probably can't see it, but it says Tiffany & Co. right across the bottom. And then you have your sticker that lets you know it was made in Italy, Crystal glass the next thing that i got actually came from a friend of mine my friend marie who has actually been my chanel essay or was my chanel essay for many years sent this to me so she watches my videos and she was like i saw that you got the tom ford book and the louis vuitton book and she said what is a collection she sent me a little card with it as well she said what is a collection without a Chanel book. So <laughs> she sent me this Chanel coffee table book. I am so grateful for it. Um, Marie has been my essay since like 2000 and end of 2009, 2010, when I first started investing money into Chanel, um, that she's the person that I bought my entire brush collection from. Um, and a lot of the things that I bought like early on in my collection, um, she eventually stopped working for Chanel in Atlanta and moved to California after she got married. And so she is based there now. Um, she still works for Chanel. And so when she comes across things, she always sends them to me. Um, I have so many VIP gifts because of Marie. So thank you, girl. I super, super appreciate it. And I was really happy to get this coffee table book and I cannot wait to style it around our home. These last two things are things that I purchased for myself specifically. I have made it my mission to make sure that every week I'm doing some self-care, some self-love, um, just kind of doing my skincare routine and it being super fancy and luxurious. So get them getting me that wine glass was like perfect because when I enjoy my wine and I do my face mask and I just kind of cater my cater to myself, I like to use nice exquisite things. That's just how I feel. So I was totally grateful. Um but I picked this up for myself because every time I have gone into Macy's now for like the last two or three years. I see this brand. It reminds me, if I don't know if you guys know about it, 
But back in the day, my mom and my aunt used to love this brand called The Healing Garden. And when I tell you they made the best spa-like scents, I cannot find the brand anymore. I think the last time I looked up on it was maybe like two or three years ago. Um, and so every time I go in Macy's, I see this and I just pass it up. Well, girl, I'm glad I didn't this go round. I picked this set up. It comes with, it's by The Rituals brand. And this is The Rituals of Tao. Brings peace and tranquility into your life. It's a um, four-piece set. It has a, a body scrub, a shower foam, a body cream, and a scented candle. And these are really big sizes, you guys. So that's the box. I just cannot wait for self-care week this week because I'm going to be using this. It came with a 6.7 ounce shower foam that was actually made in Italy according to the back of the box. And the scent, you guys. It's just so tranquil. That's why I'm really excited to use it because I feel like it's just going to be calming. Um, ancient Tao philosophy focuses on balancing yin and yang yin and yang bringing peace and tranquility into your life y'all i think this is going to be really really nice this is the body cream you get a yeah a 2.3 ounce of it you get a body scrub a mindful body scrub 4.2 ounces and then a 5.1 ounce candle the saying on the front says, quiet the mind and the soul will speak. Oh my God, this smells so good, you guys. This is actually something that I got for myself. Um, I have been wanting to try this particular item. And then I just, the other things I got were like, because I always get these from Dior. But we're, let's just get into it, girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling. Okay. Got our little card. It just says Happy Mother's Day. Dior with the packaging, child. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, so. I picked up the brush cleaner. I have been using the Beauty Blender Solid. So you probably can't see it. You probably can only see uh, the, me on the tripod, but this is the Backstage Brush Cleaner by Dior. You get five ounces of it. I picked this up because I've been using the Beauty Blender Solid on my brushes and I'm just like over that and I wanted something that was liquid and I heard good things about it. And I thought, well, how fancy. So I picked it up. So I got that. And then I got, I've been wanting to try this. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I love the Dior Lip Glow and the Lip Maximizer. They came out with some new shades that I wanted to try. In the Maximizer, they came out with the shade 20 Brown, which I feel is so perfect for a brown skin girl like myself. So I ordered that. I cannot wait to try this. This, like, I love Buxom, but I started out with the tingly plumping glosses with this. This was like my first, the first thing I tried like that. And so when all else fails, I just go back to what got me hooked. This is like my favorite lip gloss. If I was to say it would be Dior, Chanel, Buxom and NARS when it comes to the glosses. But love this. I've been purchasing it for years. I normally just get like the pink glow. So I was glad to try something different. And then this is the Attic Glow, um, Dior Attic Lip Glow. This is the lip balm. I got the color Six Berry. And if you've been following me, y'all know this used to be like my bomb of choice. It's purple. I've never tried the purple one, but 
or have I? No, Coral was the one that I was trying when they started doing new shades, but I've been purchasing this for years. So I just wanted to get another one because I wanted it in my handbag. You guys, the Givenchy one is okay, but I think it's, it, it's too thin for me or something. So I've been keeping it in my purse. The packaging is great, but I needed my old faithful. And then they sent me two samples. I got the Ode Isopon. This is one of their like exclusive ones. Ooh, this smells really masculine, but good. So hmm. we'll see. I'll put it with the rest of my samples. Like I said, I collect samples for vacations. And we got one coming up. This is the Dior Skin. Um, what is this? Age Defying Perfecting Skin Serum. I don't know. Oops, I oh, broke into the box. This is what it looks like. So we'll give that a try. It's a skincare item. And then they sent me this. It's the Miss Dior, like an Eau de Parfum box. Let's see. This one I didn't open because I bought it for myself. So, oh, that's sweet. So they give you this little mini Dior. I love these because I put them on my vanity. And then you get this body milk, Miss Dior body milk, which I'll probably end up throwing in my purse as a hand cream. But how nice is that? So, hmm. That's all I got from Dior, you guys. All right, you guys. That's everything. Um, I'm so glad you guys stuck around for this haul. I know it was a lot. Um, but collectively, those are things that I got for Mother's Day and for our anniversary. Again, I'm immensely grateful and thankful for all the love, not only from, you know, my peeps, but from you guys. Like I said, the well wishes, the congratulations we are forever ever grateful and we thank you guys so much um as always if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me and if you're new don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out i'll see you guys in my next one bye